Good morning children welcome to class 4 today we are going to start a new chapter chapter 12 friction as a force in the previous chapter we have learned about the force so let us recall once again then we will learn about friction as a force students we have already learned about the force that is force is a push or pull so force is push or pull when we try to push an object what happens it moves away means it changes its position similarly if we want to pull an object what happens it moves towards us means in both the condition push or pull in both the condition we apply some force so force is a push or pull acting on an object now we have seen force is of four types the first one is muscular force then the second one is magnetic force then third one is a uh, gravitational force and the last one is frictional force so today we will learn about frictional force in detail now what is frictional force students frictional force is the force that comes into play when two different objects come in contact with each other what happens when two objects come in contact means physical contact should be there then frictional force works so when two objects come in contact with each other then frictional force applies means this opposes the motion of one object over another object there are two important points of frictional force the first one is it slows down or stops the moving object because it opposes the motion of one object over another object that's why it slows down or stops the motion of one object or the moving object and the second point is frictional force always acts opposite to the direction of force means when one object is moving towards one direction then frictional force acts on opposite direction so it always works on opposite direction of the motion so this is called frictional force so once again we can repeat it it is the force that comes into play when two opposite objects come in contact with each other so this is called frictional force and what are its property it slows down or stops the motion of one object or moving object then the second one is frictional force always works or acts opposite to the direction of force this is frictional force let us do one activity you have to rub your hand like this after some time you will feel your hands get warm why this happens because due to friction our hand hands are opposing the motion of each other so friction opposes the motion of an object over another object that's why our hands get warm similarly when a ball is moving on a surface after some time it stops because the ground opposes the motion of ball because ground opposes the motion of ball due to what due to friction so these are the properties of friction let us do one more activity for this we need a heavy book a smooth glass top table a string of wool now what to do next we will tie the book with one end of the string of wool now we place the book on the glass top table and we will try to pull the book with the help of a string 
again we will do the same activity on rough surface what to do we will place the book on rough surface of the floor then we will again try to pull the book with the help of the string we come we can compare our experience of force we applied on pulling the book in both the cases we will find that more force was applied while pulling the book on the rough surface of the floor it is because of the great friction posed by the rough surface so the conclusion is if surface is smooth the friction is less and if the surface is rough the friction is more this is all about frictional force thank you